Let's have a quick review on how the polar interrupter or the optical slot sensor uh, works. Um, please keep it in mind there are two different um, components or two different uh, operating um, structure happening here. One is uh, from the anode to cathode and the other one is the NPN transistor. So the anode to cathode, as you can see, this is pin number one, which is the anode. And then this is pin number two, which is the cathode. And then pin number three is the collector. Uh, and then pin number four is the emitter. So when the current flows from collector to emitter, you guys all know it's called NPN transistor. Now we have the diagram that it shows how the, um, the wiring is actually done. Uh, so collector, which is pin number one, I'm sorry, anode, uh, pin number one, and then uh, pin number two is grounded, which is the cathode side. And here we have pin number three, which is the collector, and this is pin number four, which is the emitter. So as you can see, the collector is getting the voltage here, and then moving um, the, uh, the voltage is going to the ground, right? when that will happen. So the, in order for the NPN transistor to operate at uh, short circuit, short circuit means this is um, this is connected. Uh, in order to for the NPN uh, transistor to operate at short circuit mode, it need to get at the base level, it need to get 0 0.7 voltage. The base has to be more than 0 0.7 voltage in order for this NPN transistor to become a short circuit. How does that happen? So as long as there is a current flow or voltage flow that happens on the anode and cathode, the voltage source is connected here. As long as the voltage source is um, going from uh, anode to cathode, the internal LED will LED, which in, uh, in, in return, the base will be operable, meaning the base will get 0 0.7 voltage. Now, if you are to interrupt this with some kind of a solid object, what will happen now the base is not going to get the zero voltage instead the base is going to be zero voltage okay so when the base is at zero voltage there will be no current flow that will happen from the collector to emitter side now having said that there is one other thing that we need to pay attention uh, when what is the value that the AIN one pin <clears throat> is going to be reading so VA1, VA1, this is actually connected to one of the AIN pin. Now the AIN pin will read um, zero voltage as long as there is nothing um, interrupted at the slot sensor level. When the slot is not interrupted, we will get a zero voltage because all the voltage that's uh, collected at the um, collector level is going to the ground. So therefore, the, the AIN one will read zero voltage. When we are interrupting it, then we are interrupting the photo sensor with uh, a solid object. There is no current flow happening or there is no voltage at the base level. Therefore, all the voltage that's coming from here will be read by the AIN uh, pin. Right, so at that point, what will happen when we insert something um, uh, at the, the slot sensor, we will have a higher voltage. It's going to be closer to five voltage. It's not going to be exactly five voltage because of the R2, um, the resistor here. So it, it's uh, more or less going to be uh, five voltage, okay? And the other thing, one other thing that you need to pay attention here is the, all right. So um, at any given time, the current flow at pin number one, which is the anode, and pin number two is the cathode, is going to be same because this is operating individually and this is operating individually, okay? Even though it is coupled by the slot sensor, or the, the LED um, that is built in, you're not really going to see it outside. Uh, but in terms of operation, it is happening as two different uh, components. This is one component on its own, and this is another component on its own. We can actually control the current flow on this side by controlling uh, the current flow on the anode and cathode or by inserting um, something in between uh, the slot. Okay? So any, at any given time, current flow at anode and cathode or pin number one and two is going to be same as well. At any given time, 
the current that flowing from pin number three to um, the emitter is going to be same as well. 